All right, we're going to try this again. So it's, we'll call this take two. Had some technical difficulties uh, the first time around. And I'll explain that um, once we're done demonstrating here. This is the stock 440 coolant pump. And all I've done is run 5 8 line uh, up to Paul's uh, um, six nozzle coolant ring. And as far as, as far as I can tell, I don't think I'm gonna need anything on it. This is just running fine. Um, I got plenty of flow. I let, it, I let it run for 20 minutes just to make sure that I wasn't gonna have any other funky things going on. But uh, the technical difficulties I had was this was not draining well and after the pump ran for about a minute um, it started running out of coolant and so <clears throat> what I've done here so close these up here you can see the uh, stock pump in the back there um, and the coolant line going to it but this return line here, see how well that coolant's flowing back? It wasn't. Um, and what was happening was, <clears throat> see where I've got this pulled up some? Well, this was sagging and was not letting that coolant flow directly back into the pump like it should have been. So once I fix that, everything was good. Originally, I put that pipe up there to keep that uh, line low, so I didn't have a, a dip there. And uh, now, everything is running right back down to the pump, so I'm in good shape. Um, coolant's all draining out very well, and the pump is performing just fine. So, yep, highly recommended. Um, he's the size. A little metal nozzle adjusting tool right here. And you can put up in the nozzle and point them, adjust them any way you need to. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I think I'm going to be all set. Um, I do use mist sometimes, and that's what you see hanging on the side there. And then I've got David Loom's <coughs> IO board that allows me to switch between uh, flood coolant and missed within Fusion 360. So there it is. <clears throat> I'm a very happy customer and I highly recommend the setup. And at least for me, there's not going to be a need that I see to upgrade the pump. The 5.8 ID line seemed to have cured it off.